guys for reading. Um, I've assigned you a study island, and I wanted to go over a few things. If you look over here to the left of, of my screen, you'll see that I created a new topic, and it's study island. So while we're doing our distance learning, when I assign um, a blue ribbon, you'll go to that topic, and, and I'll always have the link there and some directions for you. And our blue ribbon is poetry now. I know I posted that before we left, but only a handful of you actually got it done. And the ones who did, why don't you go through, retake it, redo it, see if you can't get uh, closer to a 9 or a 10 out of 10, all right? So everyone, I want to do uh, get another crack at it. So that being said, let's take a look at what I assigned. So there's your login screen. But So you'll go over here. The poetry... Um, lesson is going to be under poems drama and prose right and so i want you to go through this lesson at home and i want you to read through it so it says po poetry and prose remember i told you poetry is can be organized man, show my face poetry can be organized in any way you want it to be any way you want it it can be a big circle it can be a diamond we're doing all kinds of fun stuff with this right it can rhyme it's got a beat it's got meter and measure and you know uh, it, it, if you read this one it uh, says my feet are much too big my feet are much too long all the other kids feet are normal mine just do not belong so i have big long normal belong so it looks like a b c b would be the rhyme scheme if you're following so i'll keep reading it mom says when i'm older i will grow into my feet then maybe I will be the tallest kid. That would be super sweet. So sweet and feet. So it's going to be, again, so the first one is A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E, right? For the second, how many stanzas is that? That's two stanzas, and in each of these stanzas, there's how many lines? There's one two, three, four. I wish I was still teaching. I wish we were still in school. So there's four lines, two stanzas. And each stanza has, uh, has uh, each stanza has four lines in it. See, this is a line right here. That's one line. And then this whole thing, there's four lines, two, three, four, but all four of those together make a stanza. And there's one stanza here and one stanza here. All right, so, and then it's about to talk to you about lines and stanza, right? So go through that. Then prose, remember I told you, prose are every book. We just start talking about this. Prose is every book on my shelf. Most of our chapter books, they have paragraphs. We, you wrote your own fiction narrative that had, and we put it in, um, in, our, in our online book thing, which is uh, Story Jumpers. So, and they have paragraphs and chapters and there's a plot, and there's characters and setting, right? So here it is. Chapter 3, Benito is found. We're talking about prose, right? Think about how a story is different from a poem, right? A poems are short, and they have rhyme and meter, and there's, they're just you know kind of short and sweet and fun. But prose can be many multiple chapters and really long, and just they're, they're different. Prose writing and poetry, very different. All right. So really that's the, so you'll focus on going through this lesson and I'll just, I'll walk you through all these. So here's the next thing. All right. So stanza meter and rhythm. Let's talk about this real quick. This is going to be your poetry slash reading, right? So a stanza, right? It's the division of a poem made by arranging them into units, right? So we looked at that. So this one has, um, how many lines? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's there's two stanzas, and each stanza is four lines. We talked about that, right? So the poem below is a rhymed poem with two stanzas, and in each stanza, right, there's four lines, right? All right, so it says, my feet are much too big, my feet are much too long. All the other kids' feet are normal, I just don't belong. So long and belong. So that's A, B, C, B. Right. And then mom says, when I'm older, my feet, my I will grow into my feet. Then maybe I will be the tallest kid. That would be super sweet. Right. So, again, you have sweet and feet. So that would be well, that's A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. Right. 
All right, so let's keep rolling on. So we have we have two stanzas, and in each of these stanzas, there's four lines, right? And they rhyme, right? They rhyme. And we talked about rhyme scheme a little bit yesterday. We're going to keep talking about it. All right, so let's take a look. It says, rhyming words are two words that sound alike, or like run and done. They don't have to have the same vowels. They just have to sign, sound alike, right? And so let me read this. It says, with each other, they rhyme, they sound the same as each other. Many of the poems that you read have rhyming words. The bolded words rhyme in the short poem below. So here we go. And I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna read this together. Let's do it. Outside my window, a yellow balloon is caught in the treetop and looks like a moon. Outside my window, a blue jay. Oh, a blue and white jay lands on the treetop and then flies away. I'm going to read it again. I fouled it all up. Let's, let's listen to it. Listen to the rhyming words. Ready? Outside my window, a yellow balloon is caught in the treetop and looks like a moon. Outside my window, a blue and white jay lands on the treetop and then flies away. All right. So the first one is what? A. It always starts with A, right? A. B, C, B, right? Because moon and balloon rhyme. And then it's going to be D, E, uh, F, E, right? So because J and away rhyme. So there's your rhyme scheme right there. And how many lines and stanzas? So there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Each stanza has four lines and there's two stanzas. There's one and two. All right, S rhyming words end in the same letter. So can and pan, rang and sang, and right and light. How about read and need, wear and care, baby and maybe. So you can rhyme all kinds of words. Here are some more rhyming words. Shout and pout, law and paw, cat and rat, sweet and meat, trip and drip, kite and fight, flip and chip, and rug and bug. All right, so let's look at this last section. All right, drama. Remember, we did these. T somebody in, in your living room, shout to the moon. Shout right now and say, when did we do these? We did these. We did our idiom plays, right? And we recorded them and did all kinds of green screen stuff. All right, so a drama has different elements, right? It's a script, right? And it has uh, an act, which is a chunk or section of the play. It's like a chapter in a book, right? Scene one, act one, or it has a cast and characters, right? A play will list the names of the characters needed. Some lists will even give a little description of each role. The list of characters or cast is shown at the top of the play. Dialogue, those are the words spoken by the characters. You know this because you had a script, right? All of you had an idiom play that you read off of. That's what it looked. That's what the script looks like. It's written different than prose, which is paragraphs, and it's different than poetry, right? monologue a long speech by a character and a play spoken either to others or as if they were alone on stage off stage out of view of the audience when a character talks off stage the audience can hear but not see the character on stage the characters on stage in view of everybody of the audience right most plays the characters are performing on stage right playwright People who write plays are called playwrights. The most famous playwright of all time is William Shakespeare. Come on, guys. You got to know William Shakespeare right there. It's a big one. You know what? I will do our, our uh, daily journal on William Shakespeare. A scene is a small chunk of the play. A scene is usually just one event like a conversation or a fight. An act is made up of many scenes, right? Stage directions. Stage directions tell how the, how the actors are going to move and speak. Most stage directions are in parentheses or in italics, slanted words, right? Like just like this. They can also tell you where the play is uh, taking place. Stage set. Describe how the stage should look. Gives the director an idea for designing the set. Gives the audience a better idea of where the play is taking place. So here's an example right here. You can look that over when you're going over. So go through, go through on your own everything I just went over. Go through it, read through it, and then you're going to get your blue ribbon. And your blue ribbon is called 
Um, yeah, get out of this. Your blue ribbon is called. Do I have it pulled up? I might not. Uh, yeah, I'll pull it up for you right now. Your blue ribbon. If I go to class manager, you'll go to your classes and you'll. I want you to click on that and take that quiz, man. Get your blue ribbon. All right. So that's going to be your reading and your writing. All right. Good. Tadero out. Well, I'm not out yet. Not quite yet. Let's get this done. Boom.